So I'm going to share to you MS-DOS debug. So my name is Dr. Haji Tehuko. At the end of the tutorial, you'll be able to learn the following. Number one, we're going to define what is debug. Two, we're also going to look into what is MS-DOS debug. The third one is we're going to enumerate the different commands in MS-DOS debug. And the last one is we're going to write some codes using MS-DOS debug, okay? So what is debug? Debug is identifying and removing errors from hardware and software. We also have the term debugging wherein it's a process of finding and resolving defects or problems within the computer that prevents correct operation of computer software or system. Now, Microsoft created a program that allows us to uh, look into how the program is assembled. This is called debug.com. So in every uh, Windows program or let's say DOS, there is a built-in uh, program called debug.com. It's a utility that is integrated in uh, the DOS operating system. Even now, we still have it in Windows, but it's... Um, you have to look in you have to search for that particular file this debug.com can act as an assembler disassembler or hex dump program allowing users to interact with the memory you'll be able to see the hexadecimal and ascii values and technically it makes changes to selected com and exe files and other file types this is, these are, these are the ones you see on the screen right now are the different commands available in MS-DOS debug. So we're going to, I'm going to discuss to you how we use the following commands. At the same time, write some examples related to each of the command here. Okay, so but let's define it first. Later, I'm going to demonstrate to you. So the first command that is uh, available is Q or quit that allows us to finish the debug session and end back to the DOS prompt. The second one is we have H for hexadecimal. This allows us to show the sum and difference of two hexadecimal numbers. The format is you're going to type H followed by two hexadecimal values. The third example here, or the third command, is A for assemble, in which it enables the user to create a program in mnemonics or symbolic code. It also translates our assembly language code into machine code. Okay, so soon as we progress within this tutorial, we'll be able to write assembly codes, but actually we could start uh, assembly using debug. The fourth command is D for display or dump that allows us to display the content of the portion of memory in hexadecimal or in ASCII form starting from a given address. Next is we have G for go that allows us to execute the program as whole in the memory and display the result. Next is we have R for register this one here is an inst uh, instruction that allows to display the content of all the registers and its values. Registers, we have AX, BX, CX, and DX. We also have several flags. Now, as we progress, we are going to show to you what are those registers, what are those flags, and other types of uh, values here. It also allows us to display the content of the next instruction and permit the user to change the value of a particular register. Now we have E for enter. It enables the user to key in data or machine instruction into a memory or specific location address. Next we also have an assemble or U that allows us to list all the instruction contained in a program beginning at a given address. And we have trace. This allows us to run the program in single step. So if we perform the trace command here, we'll be able to see step by step how the program or how the how do we execute those mnemonics. And you'll be able to see, let's say, 
we want to change the value of a particular register, you could trace it here. You could see how the uh, debug executes those uh, commands. Okay. Next, we're going to look into n for name. Uh, we could uh, write a program here and give it a name. And last is we're going to use w or write that allows it to save the program into this. Now, I'll go over now to my uh, virtual box and demonstrate it to you how we um, use the bug here. So I have here virtual box, in which case I have a Windows 98 machine. So let me start the machine right now. So let's wait for a while to load. So this I'm using virtual box 6. Okay, let me close this one. Now, I have now the Windows 98, so I just need to press enter here, and then, uh, so that's the login sound. Hope it brings back memory for those who have used Windows 98 before. Okay, so to execute the bug, we need to go to the command prompt. Uh, here or DOS prompt so we, we have two ways one is that you could click here run and execute the run the command command or you could simply go to start programs and then you're going to see here your MS DOS prompt okay so if you're here in your MS DOS prompt okay so this is the command so by default in Windows 98 you could execute um, the command by simply typing in debug okay so to do that you just type debug debug sorry debug then to show the meaning of the file or we could type slash question mark here so here is a debug runs debug a program testing and editing tool the syntax is uh, debug drive path file name and the test file parameters okay now if you like to simply if you if you like to see now the how debug works we just simply type here debug then press enter now you're going to see this symbol here this symbol is sort of a prompt that it allows us to enter the command now to see the commands available in debug all you need to do is to type here question mark enter and then these are the commands that we are going to use okay so for the first item if we go back here into our uh, powerpoint if you recall in our powerpoint let me switch back uh, where's that here so the first command that we have is quit okay so let's try to execute quit all you need to do here is to press letter Q and we're back to your MS DOS prompt. Okay, to execute, to go back again, you just need to type again debug, and then you're back into this screen. Okay, so for the meantime, I'll stop here and then continue with the rest of the codes in our next tutorial. Okay, so thank you. Have a nice day.